In the first part of our order fulfillment code lab, we built our initial conductor workflow with just one task in it, and we defined the widget shipping task all in the Orcus playground. And so now our workflow is ready to go. We just need a worker to actually run our task to make it all work. To run our task, I've created a Java application to do the widget shipping. And so let's switch over to my IDE really quickly to take a look at that. So this is based on the Orcas Workers GitHub. Uh, the Orcas Workers applications is all up in GitHub. So you, well, the link will be down below so you can see that. And there's two parts of it. There's the Orcas Workers application. And this application does a couple of things. One is it handles all the authentication for us. Um, it grabs the server URL and our key ID and our secret, which we talk about because inside the playground, we need to have a little bit of security. So just not just anyone can pull our workers, only the apps that can use, the workers can use it. Okay, so we've got um, this tool getting that and it's doing the polling for us. And now it also gathers up all of the workers. And in this case, I'm only showing one of the workers here. I deleted the other ones just to remove some of the errors. And the widget shipping has two parts. One of that is it defines the name of our task and returns the name of the task as widget shipping. Remember that every single task inside the Orcus Playground needs a unique ID. So if you're following along, you'll have a unique ID at the end of this. Um, and so this is telling the task hey, here's where the worker is. I am the worker that will run this task for you. Um, and then this is the actual task. The task takes in the name, street, city, state, and zip and makes the full address. So the full address is just putting it all into one line into like a more traditional format, right? Street, city, comma, state, space, zip. Um, and then it also returns a shipping tracking number. Now, if you were really doing order fulfillment, you'd probably connect into FedEx or UPS or the Postal Service. In this case, I am generating two eight-digit random dig numbers and making a 16-digit random string um, through the magic of uh, sample code. And then I return uh, JSON with the full address and the tracking number. And so when this runs, um, it when this app is running, it picks up any queued tasks from my workflow and it runs uh, it runs through. And so we'll run that in our next demo uh, where we'll actually send some data to the workflow. The workflow will assign the data to a task. The worker will pick up the data from the task queue, run it, send it back to the task. The task will run as completed and then the workflow will complete with the address and the tracking number. So uh, with the workflow and the task we defined in the last video. And now we have this worker, which you can get up on GitHub. Then we're all set for it to, to get going.